hi friends i hope you have seen the video of stress anxiety and depression and have understood these conditions and how they are related to each other in this video we are going to talk about the signs and symptoms related to anxiety and tips to deal with it Hi, I am Dr. Parag Sangvi, founder of Be Your Force, your holistic life coach and health and wellness life coach. Anxiety, anxiety disorders. Let's understand the signs and symptoms related to anxiety. Heart rate may increase. There may be palpitations and pounding of your heart. There may be sweating. There may be trembling and shaking of your hands. You may feel running short of breath. There may be irritability. The muscle spasms. You may get tension in your muscles. Your sleep pattern may be disturbed. In case of panic attacks, you may get a feeling of impending doom, as if something is going to get out of control. In case of phobia. you start thinking and you get excessively worried about situations or about objects you start taking irrational steps to avoid those objects or situations here are few tips to deal with anxiety tip number 1 identify the anxiety and what triggers it sometimes we are not aware of situations we are anxious about of situations we are fearful about identifying those situations identifying those objects whom we fear is very important this is the first and the most important step in dealing with anxiety number 2 stay in the present and take time out anxiety is all about future anxiety occurs in anticipation of certain things which may not even occur when you are flooded with anxiety you cannot think rationally the first important thing you should do is to take time out this will calm you mentally and physically you can go out for a short walk for 10 to 15 minutes or even make tea or coffee for yourself or even take bath number 3 face your fears only if you face your fear you will be able to overcome it avoiding fear makes you more scarier if you have a fear getting into the lift start traveling by lift do it the second day do it the third day slowly and steadily you will realize that nothing is going to happen happen to you even if you travel by lift and one fine day your anxiety for traveling by lift will go number 4 imagine the worst try imagining the worst thing that could happen to you if you were to face a situation or if you were to face an object would it be a heart attack or would it be the feeling of you dying now try imagining yourself having an heart attack or dying is it possible it's not possible even you know it you are not going to get an heart attack imagine the worst and you will walk away from all the fear you have towards an object or a situation number 5 it sometimes helps to look at the evidence what i mean by looking at the evidence is challenge those fearful thoughts ask someone who have got stuck in a crowded place what happened to him or her did something go wrong imagine yourself being in that crowded place if you are having a fear for crowded place and then try to remember your friends words that nothing actually happened to him or her this will help to alleviate your fear or anxiety 6 share your fear share your anxiety with either your friend your relative or even a professional help sharing your fear and anxiety will reduce your anxiety you may get certain suggestions from your friends or relatives about dealing with the anxiety 
finally what matters is your anxiety or your fear should go down and sharing with someone actually helps us in this cause tip number seven two most important pillars in most of the conditions that's exercise and meditation both exercise and meditation acts as long-term remedy pills in dealing with anxiety this is dr parak sangvi founder be your force keep smiling stay away from fear and anxiety life is beautiful thank you